don't like Tiny? You don't like men that are brown? You don't like Islanders? This man's got an awesome story to tell, of course. I don't know if these people want to listen to a man that's from an island here, what it is that he has to say. But he was just like you guys, filled with hate. Hated, hated Trump supporters, hated this, hated that. Okay? But something changed in his heart. He was just like you, flipping everyone off. Just like you guys, yelling and cussing. So angry. But Tiny's, Tiny's life has changed, and he's changed my life. He's changed a lot of your guys' life. He's a guy who's filled with happiness and joy, and is such a good person. I just hope that you guys are willing to hear what it is that Tiny has to say. Okay, so let's hear it for Tiny. What's up, Patriot? So yes, call me Tiny. Um, I know most of you guys already know uh, what I used to be before I even joined this movement. I was a hardcore Trump, anti-Trump. I used to drive around looking for Trump stickers and Trump hats and just beat the shit out of people. That's what I used to be. I used to be one of these people. I used to be one of these people. Standing there, flipping, flipping people off, busting them out. But then, feeling that something was wrong and so when I this is what I love to do when I was anti-Trump I go out and I look on the internet and look for videos of Trump supporter getting beat up why it feeds my, my hate it feeds my anger it makes me feel good but when I when I came across one of the videos I clicked on it and I was like anti no, it says Trump, so a Trump rally in Vancouver, Washington. So I'm like, I live in Vancouver. Let me go click on this and see if there's any Trump supporter get beat up. I clicked on it. It was the way opposite of what I was expecting. I found, I found this guy right here. And the speech that he gave, it hit me right in the port. And so I was a little bit confused. I'm like, I thought Trump supporter was all bad and violent. So I had a longing to find the truth and to find out what what the truth about the Trump rallies and the Trump people, are they really racist? Are they really violent? So I hit up Joey. I'm gonna admit it, I lied to Joey. I told him, hey, I'm a huge Trump supporter. I wanna go out to the rallies and stuff. I wanna go and see. So Joey hooked me up with John Beavers and they took me to Berkeley, California. And so on our way to Berkeley, California, it was just the brown guy in the car and three white dudes. I still have that mind frame where, oh, they're racist. The first song they played made me really think they were racist. And I was in this car, I was shaking up. I'm like, if something happened, I'm gonna fight my way out of this. We went all the way, and then when we pulled over to grab something to eat, I saw an old Latino man with the flat tire. He couldn't even change his tire. So I, I put it up to the test. I was like, let me see if these white dudes are really racist. If they're going to go help or they're going to leave the guy just there. Next thing you know, David Fry just turned around and said, hey, let's go help him. I'm like, now I'm more confused. Are they really racist or not? So we get to Berkeley, California. First thing I saw was a group called Antifa. They came straight in. They start beating people. Trump supporter was only defending themselves. That's where it changed my whole heart. It changed my whole beliefs. And that's why I'm proud to stand here and say, we're gonna make America great again! And I will never change until this country is put back to where it's supposed to be. This powerful country needs to be waving high, red, white, and blue, and never back down. Why? Because we are the patriots and we're gonna fight for what's right. God bless America, and God bless everybody that's over here. God bless everybody that's outside of the fence, and I hope you understand and see, open your eyes to the truth. It all comes down to respect. People need to learn how to disagree without disrespect. God bless everybody. Let's have a good day.